We are so glad you're with us here at 5.30. I'm Carolina Lead, in for Josh. And I'm Courtney Robinson. Leading us off here, more neo-Nazi symbols have been spotted on display once again in Tampa Bay. This incident, which was spotted this weekend, is the latest of several anti-Semitic acts in the Bay Area this year. 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio reports. Just days ago. And we were all like a little shocked. Rachel Finch scrambled to call authorities after what she saw. And luckily the sheriff's office responded immediately. Demonstrators at the Pinellas Trail overpass holding Nazi flags. It happened in front of the Nosh Pit, a New York style Jewish deli in St. Pete. Rachel is the owner. It's very shocking. You don't have the expectation that those type of people will be comfortable enough to just come out and be out and proud with their hateful, menacing crap. That same day, a group also reportedly handed out anti-Semitic flyers at Upham Beach. This is not just a Jewish problem. I point that out all the time. Mike Eagle is the Florida Holocaust Museum's board chair. Neo-Nazis or white supremacists in general, they don't typically say, well, I can't stand Jews, but I sure do like those other minorities. That isn't how this works. That's why he says condemning hate of all types is so important and it takes a village to do so. Hi there, how you doing? Well, Saturday's blatant display left Rachel shocked. I've had so much support here. So did the reaction from those who heard her story. And I think really think that we can come together and show these few couple bad seeds that they don't belong here in St. Pete. Rachel's hoping more people will stand up against what's wrong the next time it happens. Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay. And right now, Pinellas County deputies tell us that they have not made any arrests.